Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Jury begins deliberations in Depp v. Heard defamation case Jurors deliberating dueling defamation claims from actors Johnny Depp and Amber Heard have adjourned without delivering a verdict, leaving the resolution in the widely watched six-week trial to next week. Depp, the 58-year-old Pirates of the Caribbean star, sued ex-wife Heard in Virginia for 50 million U.S. dollars arguing she defamed him when she called herself a public figure representing domestic abuse in an opinion piece she wrote for the Washington Post. Heard, 36, countersued for 100 million US dollars, saying Depp smeared her when his lawyer called her accusations a hoax. The seven-person jury deliberated for more than two hours on Friday and will resume discussions on Tuesday after the US Memorial Day holiday. Depp has denied hitting Heard or any woman and said she was the one who turned violent in their relationship. Mr. Depp experienced assistant verbal, physical and emotional abuse by Ms. Heard, attorney Camille Vasquez said in closing arguments on Friday. She said Heard's allegations of abuse by Depp, including a sexual assault with a liquor bottle, were wild, over-the-top and implausible, and had ruined his reputation in Hollywood and among fans. We ask you to give Mr. Depp his life back by telling the world Mr. Depp is not the abuser Ms. Heard says he is, Vasquez said. Heard lawyer Benjamin Rittenborn, in his closing argument, reminded jurors of explicit text messages from Depp to friends or associates. In one, Depp called Heard a filthy whore, and said he wanted her dead. This is a window into the heart and mind of America's favorite pirate, Rittenborn said. This is the real Johnny Depp. At the center of the legal case is the December 2018 opinion piece by Heard in the Washington Post, in which she made the statement about domestic abuse. The article never mentioned Depp by name, but his lawyer told jurors it was clear that Heard was referring to him. Heard's attorneys argued she had told the truth and her comments were covered as free speech under the U.S. Constitution's First Amendment. Your key question to answer is does the First Amendment give Ms. Heard the right to write the words she wrote? Rattenborn said to the jury. You cannot simultaneously uphold the First Amendment and find in favor of Johnny Depp. Depp and Heard met in 2011 while filming The Rum Diary and wed in February 2015. Their divorce was finalized about two years later. Over six weeks of proceedings, Jurors have listened to recordings of the former couple's fights and seen graphic photos of Depp's bloody finger. Depp said Heard threw a vodka bottle that cut off the top of his finger during an argument in 2015. Heard denied injuring Depp's finger and said the actor sexually assaulted her that night with a liquor bottle. The testimony was live-streamed widely on social media, drawing large audiences to hear details about the couple's troubled relationship. Once among Hollywood's biggest stars, Depp said Heard's allegations cost him everything a new Pirates movie was put on hold, and he was replaced in the Fantastic Beasts film franchise, a Harry Potter spin-off. Depp lost a libel case less than two years ago against The Sun, a British tabloid that labelled him a wife-beater. A London High Court judge ruled he had repeatedly assaulted Heard. Depp's lawyers filed the U.S. case in Fairfax County, Virginia because the Washington Post is printed there. The newspaper is not a defendant.